Hi, I'm Tuan Lierenfeld. Welcome. I'm a group product manager at Crestfound in charge of our control platform. I am excited to talk about virtual control, where we let you move all those small little boxes that we've been making for over 50 years and move to a single server application. It is really the most scalable solution in the industry today, and I cannot wait to show it to you. So what you're looking at right now is the home page for virtual control. It gives you a quick overview of all the rooms that you've already deployed. But the real power comes from the program library. The program library is where you're going to store all your business logic, your touch panel definitions, your HTML files that go with a single room, let's say a huddle room. And then from there, you can very easily spin up hundreds of copies of that program. So I have AV Framework loaded. One way to use virtual control without even having to know programming is use AV Framework, configuration based in the browser, so easy. So when I go to edit it, you can see it isn't just the code, it is also my virtual touch panel, my X panel, as well as your HTML configuration pages and even your project for your touch panel. What does that mean? Because we took such a holistic approach to programs in virtual control, all you have to do is point your touch panel at the server and we will load the correct project for your room type. Let's add a room and I'll show you how easy it is. First you get to pick is what kind of room it is. Now I only have AV Framework loaded here, but if you have different kind of room types, huddle room, basic conference room, UC room, presentation room, they would all show up here. You would pick the one you want to use and the business logic specific to that room type will apply. You're going to give it a name. So I'm going to call it Thomas Edison, a room ID. And then we're asking for an address. It's not a mandatory field, but why are we asking for an address? Because if you program, for example, an event at 9 a.m. to turn on the display, you want it to happen at local time, not at the time where the server is located. And we also calculate longitude and latitude so that if you want something to happen at sundown or sunrise, you can actually do it based on the location of the room, again, not where the server is. I'm just going to leave it blank for now. You can add some notes, very helpful for yourself. And last, but to me, the most powerful feature is a user file. So while every room runs the same business logic, there probably are some minor differences. And that is something that you configure using a user file. You simply attach that file to your room here in virtual control. And when the room starts, those minor changes are automatically consumed by the program and applied. As you can see, the room is now up and running. And while clicking around is easy enough, there's an even easier way. And that is using our REST API. Like I said, built on service-oriented architecture. Now, we don't want to just open up the API to anyone, so we have the ability for you to create what we call access tokens. Simply click Add Token, give it a name so that you know who you're giving this token to, right? Application B. And use this token in your REST API, and you can now fully automate creating hundreds of rooms by simply running a script. As you can see, virtual control is truly the next natural step towards IT and AV convergence. Run it on your existing infrastructure, apply redundancy and fault tolerance so it fits into your existing disaster recovery plans. We of course still provide the power of choice. So when appliances fit your need, this absolutely can still be used. But don't forget, a single click deploying hundreds of rooms on a server is a very powerful story. With its low total cost of ownership, Virtual Control allows you to bring control into all of your spaces and provide a consistent user experience across your enterprise. Please go to Crestron.com and download the 90-day trial so you can see if this fits into your infrastructure.